either. Hey. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climate. Can we make it morning time? I can't see. Horrendous snake has invited us. That'd be fantastic. Oh, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I just got dressed. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> you sure it's not a trap? How do you know it's not a freaking trap? Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Are you sure it's not a trap? We are honored to be. Good thing I got a haircut. Oh wait, my bad. I'm going the wrong freaking way. How rude of me. You too. You too. I'm going the wrong way. My bad. I just was just following people. <laughs> just following the wrong people though. But I was following people. Ah, the angry cowboys. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to talk because if I talk, that is I'm, I'm pretty sure the volume goes down when I'm talking. Major in the war. I'm a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young his wife is sexy. Order of things, yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them because whoever Ooh. is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> True. Yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows, mm. this self righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. You sure it's not a trap? <laughs> I like you. Conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust that fucking guy. Especially when I can read the subtitles. 
<laughs> There's no way it's not a trap. It has trap written all over it. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, okay. you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name? Milton knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Okay. Mingle with the guests in the courtyard. I still think this is a damn trap. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk to the damn mayor. Thank you. I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. True. That extends to Saint Denis. True. complex than you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Okay, no one's gonna question. No one's gonna question what the hell I'm doing. I think I am a bouncer, I guess. Sleep it off. All right. Don't mind me, gentlemen. I'm taking this guy out. Taking out the damn trash. Sit down and calm mm -hmm. down. Count to a thousand. Thank you, sir. All right, back I go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Miss, uh, Madame, Madame. I almost said Miss Rebecca. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My pleasure. You're welcome. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. My party? That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not. You like my hair? Is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, now where's the trap? Get this off the screen. I can't see. Thank you. Excuse me, father. Excuse me. Monsieur, please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall oh. is a horse's ass and a bad Whoa! Horse. Whoa! Sorry, sorry, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yeah, yeah, he did. Now what? Sure. Don't you be telling me what to do with the goddamn top hat, okay? Get the, get the ridiculous thing off your head. Can I slip on in here? Left the door wide open, sir. Oh, where are you going? Oh my god, up! Oh. Anyway, the door knock his ass out now, or what? Okay, got this, no problem. A nice freaking desk right here. Thanks, mate. Never mind, it's locked. What the fuck is it locked? What the hell? Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. I look fucking sexy, goddamn. True, agreed. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found. Well, anyway, I started running for whatever reason. I don't know why. Bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a stuffed one. Stuffed. Oh, We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Ooh. We're playing poker eventually, I guess. Here comes Lenny. All right. Oh, thank you. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Okay. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? 
Oh, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You mm. boys care for me before no one cared for me. I care for you. Life weren't very Just not as much as my wife. Not after Mama got typhoid and that was I care for my wife more. <laughs> Whoever she is. <laughs> what about you? I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these Boo. books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Yes. Mr. Morgan. Yes, ma'am. A real problem. It's Tilly. Oh my God. She's been taken. Oh, don't push. Brother, she used to run with. Come along. Oh she. Oh, oh my God. Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Oh, oh. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Yeah, let me get my wife. She crazy, but she got it. I'll tell you on the way. Okay, we're not gonna get my wife. Get going. All right. Fucking damn it. A gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Definitely need a black coat. Now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said you said Oh. Oh my god. He's in, she's insane. Get in there and find our girl. I got it. Give me the shotgun though. I don't Yeah, that's right. This is fucking mine, okay? No, I'm taking this. Get the fuck out of the way. Oi! Bitch! Wait, wait. Yeah. I got you. Or not. It won't let me take out the gun, damn it. Thank you very much. I got you. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. There you go. Now you fine. It's you fine. Okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. Come along, miss. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. I blew that son of a bitch's head off. <laughs> he went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, Ooh. killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Yeah, right in the face. Just right in the fucking face. All right, I got it. All right. Come here. That's it. Boop. <laughs> You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. Oh. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. Whoa, whoa, let's calm down. I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with oh. to leave me alone. Now you think you can do that, Anthony? Yeah. Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Ah, chillax. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. Let's get you home. Okay. Yeah. Tilly wanted him alive. I'm gonna keep him alive. Yeah. Okay. We don't slit throats around here unless there's a good reason. Oh, I was gonna shoot him after. <laughs> Damn it. You fools up to yeah. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough. Yeah, let's calm down, damn. <laughs> you two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town, and we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, Mister. Maybe you can do us fools a favor. 
We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darky. Shut it, you. Jesus. Enough. <laughs> Good friends. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push. Yeah, don't don't push it, man. Don't fucking push it. Excuse me, I'm here to take down one poster, sir. I love this shotgun. Pop. I don't know how to switch shoulder. Are you done, sir? Uh, okay. One sec, sir. One second. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna need that poster off you. Give it up. That ever worked before? Okay. Follow him outside of town? No, excuse me, sir. At least you ain't dead yet. You're coming with me. Oop, anyway. Hey! Hey! Chillax, chillax, I'm just trying to loot him. Get this off of me. Thank you, sir. Those boys was mine. Were yours. Now the mine. Get that stupid top hat off you, hey boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. Can't. This is fine. You want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. I think it's a nice suit. I'm only talking about. So, you know, I just wish it was black instead of red, but it is what it is. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Apparently. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Yes, yeah, so I was just here a couple seconds ago. Look like the Duke he really is. Yeah. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the Oh my god. Free? Wow. Oh my god. All the inbreeding. So, are you gonna give me any more free stuff? That would be freaking dope. Never mind. All right, no free stuff. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I was here earlier. Don't mind me. Let's get you to the barber. Sure. What? Why? What's wrong? I like this hairstyle. My good man. Could you yes. Up my dear hick friend? I was also here earlier. Don't pay no mind to me. This unlikely fellow has made himself a oh. fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. I gotta be extra clean? What the hell kind of nonsense is this? No, there. it's not Very good. smart. What? Come on, let's get to the docks. All right. I've some transportation. Man, I just paid money for the other hairstyle. You son of a gun. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Okay. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I ain't got no guns. Oh. Tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. This is true, yeah. Virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. That's true. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Blythe. Evening. Mm. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Bro. Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Shane's head, no. How are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. This says camera. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but. Yes, you should have. <laughs> it says camera. What the hell? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I 
I probably should have hit the mouse, but whatever. I'm going to try and put it over here off screen. Maybe we go in the corner there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah, good thing I freaking folded. Just you and me now, friend. Oh my god, really? Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. What the hell? What business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't heard of you. That's okay. It's gonna be a goddamn setup. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but you saying yes? In a suit. To keep betting, okay. Stick to oil, Mr. Uh, uh, I don't think you have a future on the stage. Five bucks. Just like my wife. Fifty-six. Yep. I'll, uh, raise call. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. He says yes. All right, I got it. Call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. That's right. I'm so. I'm so good. Shit. I guess my luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning Well, I heard well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> uh oh. I got a watch. Look at Ooh. you. An expensive one. Real fine. Ooh. Swiss, a Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. Okay. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I want to know how to. Oh my God. Yo, I got two pair of kings. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Oh my god, are you gonna tell me to go all in? Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yeah, go all in. You want me to go all in? Oh my god. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Boom. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Sir? Uh -oh. Sir? Yes, you little beauty. I don't know what happened. Minds, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn it. Hey, I'm good. No offense. None take. I, I agree. Sir, unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. Oh! Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. True. Loot the safe. Thank you, sir. Huh? Dumbass. Why would you do that? Agreed. I'm gonna take both of these. One sec, I'm taking both of these. What? Okay. Damn, I'm trying to get the pistol. I can. Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, nothing happened. Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. I got it. I got it. This was a terrible idea. Shooting right at me. This man's here. Arthur, 
Good yeah. Don't forget I'm unarmed. All right, I got it. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. The hell wrong with you? Thank you, sir. Whoa, jeez, what the frick? What the hell's wrong with you? Damn. You've been training his whole life for that and he just wasted all his ammo. Wasted all his ammo in five seconds. That was stupid. I got it. Why the hell we gotta swim back? Like this was real stupid. Nice. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Hmm. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> <Come> on, <let's laughs> that's my watch. Yeah, that's not your watch. That's my watch. <laughs> Yo. Oh, uh, ignore that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that guest that parted. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief. And I like your hat. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You see too much. Yeah, he, he sees things. Are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. Yeah. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contrary to the peace treaty signed three years ago, this will lead oh. to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. It's a bad business. Mm -hmm. to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. Okay. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. Oh. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> True. There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. Almost three. Like me any more than it does you. Mm -hmm. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. A couple days? I'm very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Yes, listen. You need a chill act. Like, I know that it's very obvious that it's probably a waste of fucking time. And whatever else. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. They call me a girl.